He is the loud mouth of the South. And here he is. Hulk Hogan's personal general manager, or not general manager, but just manager, basically, for ringside. And that is Jimmy Hart, the loud mouth of the South, because he comes with that good old classic little, good old, uh, I don't want to say foghorn, that's kind of stupid, I don't know why I don't think that, microphone, like a little big speakerphone. So, obviously, let's check him out, of course, here's a picture on both sides, as you can see. And then, of course, if you want to pause and read about how he was such a good help to Hulk Hogan. And, of course, you guys obviously know the drill. We already did good old Iron Sheik, two of the Andre the Giants, and Hulk Hogan. So, without further ado, let's open up good old Jimmy Hart. Here he is, everybody. Good old Jimmy Hart here. So, let me, let me do something real quick before we review this figure. So, here's the box. So, you know this thing has the little background picture, right? So apparently, if I pulled the little background thingy off, just basically for an example, I have done it with a few action figures. I'll have to borrow a box for an example. I do have some empty wrestling boxes in there. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to pull out this little paper here. I know this one's cut in tape, so let me try to cut this out. Hold on, guys. It's just agency stay tuned. All right, everybody. So I kind of did it. Not professionally, but I tried my best. So here's what the background looks like when you take the thing out of the box. When it's nice and plain Jane, if you can see. See how it's like plain inside? Like when you first pull out your action figure. So you have this like little sick background. Oh, that looks so sick, actually. Yeah. I think for now on, I'm definitely going to try to pull those out. Because I didn't get a chance because I was putting them up just to save storage for later. Because I like to keep some of these boxes. And some of them, however, I like to throw them away. One way or the other, it is what it is. But anyways, just wanted to show you guys this real quick. This actually kind of looks sick. I might save it for something. Who knows? But uh, for right now, let's focus on the one and only good old Jimmy Hart. And it's, and it's good old microphone. Don't you mean megaphone, I tell ya? <laughs> this is a megaphone, not microphone, you idiot. I'm here to help Hulk Hogan for the WCW. <laughs> Don't worry, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, we're going to try to beat the WCW. We're going to try to win our WCW. We're going to represent WCW. And we're going to beat the World Wrestling Federation. <laughs> oh, wait. If history ever taught us something. They lost the war. And that's right. They have lost the war. However, you can still recreate it and just do something goofy. So look at this megaphone dude that just says Hulk A phone as in megaphone for Hulk Hogan. So uh, that's kind of sick though. So this is what it looks like without him holding it. You know, it's pretty nice. He can make some noise. Go beep, 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 beep. I was actually watching some WCW on my uh, Peacock and it was actually pretty good. I like watching a little bit of Monday Nitro. It was very, uh, it was solidly entertaining. I, I will tell you that much. Uh, they never, they never featured a lot of, uh, female wrestlers on there. I mean, they did a little bit, but not as much. But I was actually kind of surprised that WCW went to Disney once. Kind of crazy, but, yeah. So, that was just 90s Disney. We'll probably never see that with WWE anytime soon into the main future, which is probably not going to happen, and I hope that stays that way for a very long time. But who knows? But who knows? Maybe Disney will get better instead of being so political all of a sudden, which we're not going to talk about it. I'll be another day in another hour or two but anyways here he is the man himself good old jimmy hart and of course on the back we have wcw and there's a picture of hulk hogan looking all angry he's like let me tell you something brother i will represent the wcw brother and, you know he's like, Burr. like he's really really angry and then of course and then when you look at the sides you have him like on the microphone like all screaming but hulk hogan you will wait our good WCW, <laughs> you know, just, you know, just, just talking, you know what I mean? There's him pointing, it actually kind of makes sense too, because if I do the exact same pointer, if I do the exact same pose correctly, let's see, we can try to pull this off. He does not have a screaming head though, but we can always just imagine that he did. So, I mean, that kind of looks kind of valid if you think about it. Oh, let me see. See how his pointer fingers are like going this way and 
how he's yelling on this side. It's it's like that. It's it's kind of close. I will say that. Then if you don't want him pointing at you and be like, Hulk Hogan, we are going to def we're gonna win WCW. You know, and let's just say you just want him to have you know full on relaxing hands, like pat you on the back and be like, Hulk Hogan, I'm really thirsty. Just give me some you know some ice cold water or or, or something you know. Because, you know, Jimmy Hart has to rest his voice, of course. He's got he's to gotta stay hydrated, my man. I, like, you can't, you can't be slacking around. And, of course, there is a rapper, a rubber band covering his hair with his glasses so they don't get loose. Um, I kind of like, recommend having this on him just because, you know, you don't want to be losing certain small items like his sunglasses, of course. And then, of course, when you take off his sunglasses, oh, yeah, that definitely looks like him when he's not wearing his glasses. Oh yeah, let me let me zoom this on this bad boy right here. Look at that. That is truly him right there. The true effects right there. I hope we get more of him because I ain't gonna lie. He, he's kind of a very entertaining, uh, you know, ringside person. Or or should I say a, uh, a, a manager, like, on the, like, accompanied by good old Jimmy Hart, you know? It makes things more interesting. But anyways, but anyways, I'll put the good old shades back on him so let's go ahead and review this figure so he can split his legs pretty good but i don't think he can split his legs in real life because one he's kind of old which i mean hey i mean this ain't the 90s anymore i mean if he could split his legs in the 90s then he could definitely pull it off without a doubt no disrespect obviously to, to one of the most interesting commentator not commentators I don't, know, I don't know if he ever decided to do commentary but He's kind of just more like helping out the wrestlers and, you know, distract them and help them with their matches and stuff. That's kind of what he was just there for. So, um, he could definitely, like, bend his knees. He could be, like, begging for mercy. Be like, Hulk Hogan, save me, man. Save me. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I will never trade the WCW, you know, to say something silly like that or... And, of course, he has double-jointed elbows, which, again, double-jointed elbows on, on action figures just makes it great. Double jointed elbows on an action figure just makes things unique and nice. And, you know, it makes it really, really good. I'll tell you that much. And then you can just move his, you can move his hands a little bit. You can move it up, down, and spin them around. Same thing for the other side. You can also do it when you're popping their hands off and switching them out with the pointer fingers. You can make him acknowledge the tribal chief with the pointer fingers, or you can pretend that he's doing like the, the yes chance with Daniel Bryan. Um, you know, the possibilities are endless. And then, of course, you have his, uh, professional, uh, manly shoes, of course. The classic Michael Jackson shoes. It, it could be one way or the other. It doesn't bother me. Um, the shoes don't really do anything as much. But, you know, nonetheless, it still makes the figure fun and comes to life. And this also spins around. You can move his, a little bit of his chest up and down, up and down. Like he got kicked in the stomach when he was trying to, like... Like, when he was trying to save Hulk Hogan's life, he'll get kicked in the stomach. Go, oh, 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 and he's, like, down. He's, like, really, really hurt. Like, he's, like, like he's just hurt. Like, like this for an example. And he, listen, you can control the action of your action figure. You can literally make him a wrestler if you wanted to. Or you can just help Hulk Hogan make WCW, the, like, the most greatest, you know, show of all time. You can do whatever. You can control the action. And, yes, you can move his head. You can move up a little bit up and down, up and down. Not all the way up because of his hair, but he can look down. And then he can just spit his head around. And there you go. That is it for old, of course, Jimmy Hart here. Cool guy. And uh, I gotta say, definitely, want, I would I would like to have more action figures of this dude. I ain't gonna lie. He, he's kind of just more fun to play with in, in figure form. I can't wait to do some six stop motion with this dude. Just, you know, just yelling and screaming on the megaphone. Helping out Hulk Hogan or... Maybe he can help out some other wrestler, maybe like Cesaro or Bobby Roode or Robert Roode, for example, or or maybe like a female wrestler like uh I don't know who exactly, but if I had to guess, I'll let you guys know in the comments. Or you can tell me in the comments below. I'm okay with it either one way or the other. But anyways, I think that's about it for the good old WWF series 21 so i know that 22 is already out. i actually saw the 22 figure lineups at target and they had they had a bunch of them actually they had 
the Hulk Hogan back when he was in like in the eighties. Like he, he used to wrestle for New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is kind of interesting. Didn't knew that until now. Um, and there was a few others, and they also had the Muhammad Ali figure too. Unfortunately, I didn't get those specific fi figures because I was looking for the uh, the Brian Danielson figure, obviously the uh, the Revolution pay per view one. So I got that, and I also got Pentagon Junior to work on. Good old Unmatched Series 8, if I'm correct. I know it's Unmatched Series 8, which I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, if you like these type of videos, then i rather consider that you like the video. Like the video, click the like button. Share this with friends and family. And most importantly, hit the subscribe button. It's obviously free. You can do whatever you want. You can subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, stick around. I uh, do all kinds of videos, and I uh, do Legos as well, so either one way or the other, whatever you're comfortable with, please enjoy yourself on my channel. So without further ado, it's time for me to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe, yours truly, just to get that out of the way, and uh, yeah, later y'all, peace out.